and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Old Twitch video, guys. And today, we got the 10:30 morning content. It is Wednesday, so we had a few things. We got heavyweights. I just watched the Good Morning Madden stream, so a few things to go over. They had they dropped some Osphere news. It's a pretty good news, actually. So they were, they announced when part two would be starting. They announced what it would come with, what they're going to be doing about it, as well as the new heavyweight card. So we got quite a few bit. We got quite a bit to go over, guys. So I'm pretty excited for them releasing the most feared news. That is pretty important because now we know exactly when to expect certain things. They kind of announced what will be coming with it. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to do my house rules for this week and get one of my free players. It was too much. 75 wins with school, with with life, with recording, with content. I have been I've been too behind. I, I if I could have done it if I started the day up, but with weekend league two, I would have been starting like today, which is the day before. I can't. I'm not doing 75 wins in one day. But on the bright side, they have announced some more stuff. So makes up more than enough for that and i quite honestly wasn't that big of a fan of the first wave of players i kind of just like Dre lewis wasn't really a fan of the other two guys but it is what it is at this point now as far as going to the next part pro no the promo before we get into that actually make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell if you're new to the channel come join the family we're grinding out to 11k we're pretty damn close to be honest with you and from there on out we're gonna get to 20k so come join the family let's keep grinding towards our milestone boys and if you haven't already make sure to go down below comment what you think of these new heavyweights when the time comes and also let me know what you think of, of the most feared news i'm going to give you and if you haven't already make sure to give this video a big thumbs up let's get this video to 200 likes if you're loyal you're og your supporter hit that like button the best way to show support now let's get into this video so first things first i just watched the stream right and they just went over a few things so currently we have this house rules right here which is the monster plays house rules now this does leave the game at fr uh, friday morning right they did just announce that there will be resetting it, not getting rid of it, resetting this house rule. So that means Friday morning again, we will have another house rules for part two of the promo, which means the next set that we get, whether or not it's one or two sets, we will get another nap player most likely. And that means we're gonna get a new set of three players or six players, depending on if they drop the sharp and the fast at the same time. But we will be getting another free player, which is awesome. Now 75 wins, not so awesome, but we gotta do what we gotta do, right? So that will be coming out Friday, which does confirm another house, which is pretty cool, which probably means another free player. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know how they'll do it, because if, if it's going to be three players, it'll be, if it's, let's say, it's scary uh, strong they do, or something, scary sharp, it'll be one of those three again, just like before. But if they do sharp and fast at the same time, then it's going to be one of six players. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know if they're going to separate it. They probably will separate it. At least I hope they do. Although, that whichever one gets separated will be released very close to Halloween, which means it'll be towards the end of the promo. But we'll see how they end up going about that. I'm excited for new house rules. I do imagine it'll be another 75 wins. Most likely, 75 wins. Probably not monster plays. I mean, maybe they do keep the same one because they're lazy and they're EA. But maybe they change it. I don't really know how they go about that. But they have confirmed Most Feared Part 2. Now, I don't know if by Part 2, it just means whatever's left, the two other sets they need to do. Or by Part 2, there might be a Part 3 too. I don't know how they're going to do that. I'd imagine it's going to be Part 2. Although I prefer that it was in three sets. But it's, it is what it is. Now... They confirmed that this will be coming out Friday, and they will be releasing the players tomorrow on stream. So there will be a Madden special stream coming tomorrow at approximately, like, I believe 10.30 Eastern Time, which is good for me, guys. So typically, I can't do a special stream video for you guys going over everything because it's usually at, like, 7 p.m. at night, and that's when I have class, so I can't do that. I specifically made class at 7 p.m., so I wouldn't be... It wouldn't intervene with all my Madden videos. And, of course, they decided that they're going to do 6.30, 7 o'clock streams every thursday the one day of the week i have, I have a class at seven just thursday so it really screwed with me but luckily they're doing it tomorrow so tomorrow around 10 45 ish after the special stream you can expect a video going over all the content for you guys an update on all the new players and everything that's coming out so that's pretty cool so stay tuned for all that now i'd expect that they'll be dropping probably i think they'll keep scary fast as the last one so if they do it in segments of three like they do the strong the sharp and then i think they'll do the fast which will be next week but if they do it all in one then it'll just be tomorrow anyway so you're either getting it tomorrow or next week. I'm pretty sure confirmed we'll get Scary Sharp announced tomorrow. I feel like that wouldn't be the last one they do. But pretty excited for that. If it is just one, it's going to be three players plus a master probably. And if it is two of them, probably six players plus a master. Two plus two masters. As long as they keep it like consistent. And also, uh, I don't know if they'll be dropping more solos. They might be. Maybe a free player out of the solos. I don't really know how many free players they'll end up giving us. Because they're already giving us two with house rules. At least I imagine they'll be giving us two. 
And now the new heavyweights also did come out. So I'm gonna go start heading over to the auction block slowly to see if any of those are on the block. To show you guys that while I go over all this. Yeah, this is me right here trying to get Pat Pete for a uh, usable price, and I don't think that's gonna happen. 400k is a little too much. But if you guys have any predictions for your most feared cards, or you guys want to pick up some power, make sure you do that now because once they announce them tomorrow, your power up dreams are over. And by the way, when they do announce them tomorrow, that you could potentially sell them then. Or you could wait until house rules packs start coming out and the, the whoever like whoever people like from those the set of players their value will start going up like tyler lockett's value skyrocketed after the house rules started coming out people started getting their tyler lockets now let's head on over to the i believe the heavyweights the 89 stay or the 90s because the flashbacks were in 90s i believe let's see heavyweights new let's go check these out newest i do not see any of them here but let's see maybe they dropped 90s today I don't think they did. Yeah, I think it's the 89s, 89s. They did drop Ezekiel Anza and another guy. I will be going over that over on over on screenshots in about a second. But guys, just want to wrap that up for you guys as far as news. Stay on the lookout tomorrow for the special stream news. I will be making a video going over it. You should have that up by, I think the latest, like 11, 10, 11, 15 will be when the video is going up. Stay tuned for all that. You'll see all the players and everything coming out. So you'll be ready for uh, part two to prepare for it. A uh, personal recommendation on what to do. Get your coin stack up, get ready, pick up some power up and investments that you think might be getting cards, and have your team ready to go. Have your, your house rules ready to go. Make sure you finish your current house rules. Now, I'm going to go over to the screen real quick to go over the heavyweights. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the info part. Let's get over to the heavyweights. All right, guys, so the first card is Ezekiel Anza, 90 over right end for the Seattle Seahawks. If you guys remember Anza, Ziggy Anza, he used to be on the Detroit Lions. It's where he got kind of, he got a, got a, kind of started his career over there. Now, he's on the Seahawks now. Pretty cool card art. I forgot he was even on the Seahawks, to be honest with you. Kind of just reminded me when I saw this card. Pretty good stats. He's got he's 6'5", which means he's really tall. Kind of looks like Clowney. On the field, he'll probably look like Clowney, too. Dred's going to be 6'5". The, uh, the bull camp block. Yeah. He has an 81 speed, which is pretty fast. 85 excel, so that's fast. The end, athleticism is there. 81 strength. 89 tackle. 85 play rec. 89 power move. 79 blocks. 79 finesse. So, he's a decent pass rusher but a horrific run stuff in my opinion 79 block show will not be good enough i need with the way this game plays you cannot have your ends with below a 90 block show like you just you really can't you have to have them at least close to it because with people running stretch the only thing stopping stretch from going 90 is the off chance that your safety or linebackers are over over the top perfectly but if that doesn't happen they get blocked you need that end to at least because if they block shit outside the run gets cut up and now he might still get 15 yards but by the run getting cut up it stops the play a little bit for everyone to, to, to cradle in on him. Now, if the right end goes inside, it maybe makes the guy go down a little bit more, downfield a little bit more to go run around that. And then with that, again, he's perfectly fine to slow down the run. With that block shot, he's going to be held perfectly blocked, which means stretch is bad enough, and this doesn't make it any better. Now, let's head over to the next screen shot. All right, so right here, we got Brandon Scherf, 90 overall right guard. He's 6'5". He's got 89 strength, 86 awareness, 85 pass blocking, 85 pass block power, 82 pass block finesse. 90 run blocking, 88 run block power, and 91 run block finesse. Now, he's got that little camera right there. I don't know what that means. It looks like a speedometer to me. That's what I always call it. 24 salary cap. On the Madden stream, Kralo and the guys were saying that this is one of the better heavyweights they dropped all year. I really don't see it. His strength below 90. His awareness is below 90. His pass blocking is subpar to what I've seen in this game at this point. And his run blocking is decent. Like, it's not even... It's not even if, you're, if your pass block is going to be low 80s and everything else is going to be, like, mid-decent, your run blocking should be, like, 93s all across the board. Pretty much all across the board, he's just barely a upper-tier 80s blocker when there's guys like David DeCastro, who's an all-above 90 blocker on everything. So, they can pass and run block and have the strength and everything. So, I don't really know what's so special about this card. I don't know why they were hyping it up so much. It's not bad. But, again, even Kem... You'd have to Kem this guy up just to get above 90 run blocking. And his pass blocking won't hit it no matter what you do. It's always going to be below. So, I mean, the card's not horrible. Redskins team team maybe. Um, a cheaper right guard option. That's more than fine. But if they're in, just in terms of compared to other cards they have or other the potential for other cards, I really don't think it really stacks up. But let's head on over back to the mountain screen real quick. All right, I'm going to see if they're on the block yet. I highly doubt it. I don't know. Heavyweights and flashbacks are the worst. Like, you never find them on the block. No one ever has them. They're literally the worst things. They're, they're 90 overalls, though, so let me go over there. I had a feeling they were going to be, but again, I don't see them up. Like, they're literally the worst. You can never find them in time for content. It's horrific to try to even get these guys, but you know they'll be cheap when the time comes. And they showing me they shouldn't be too expensive. Do I recommend Anza or Scherf? Um, not really. I don't really recommend either guys. They're decent at best. I think there's better options at both positions for probably similar price points and overalls. 
maybe even better overalls for cheaper. So I'd recommend you stick to that. But guys, that is about it for the video. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. And if you could so kindly, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated. Best way to show support to all the loyals and the OGs. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed all the info. Stay tuned for the rest of today's videos and stay tuned for the special stream video tomorrow so you guys can be more than ready for all the new content and information that you guys need to know. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.